Until his stroke, Charles Landry had a thriving legal practice. At age 45, a blood clot cut off circulation to part of his brain and put an end to his professional career. At the heart of practicing law is a facility for language. Landry's stroke affected both his ability to understand language and his ability to express himself. Contingent reminder is uh, s sell it, sign it, deliver it, or anything uh, subject to the contingency. When we talk about language difficulties, we mean problems with either grammar or the choice of words. And if you were listening to him, someone might say, well, his grammar's all right, and even though he takes a long time to find the words, he tends to find them. His difficulties are really all mechanical ones. Uh, he's slow, he's got trouble getting going, but uh, none of this is really language disturbance. Well, I think that problem gets resolved very quickly when we start to examine his, his understanding of language. Do you ever have any trouble with what I say? No. Understanding it? No. no. Uh, well, suppose you wanted to communicate with a person yeah. who was in a distant city. What apparatus would you utilize? Telephone. Very good. All right. And I deliberately made that a, sort of a curious sentence just to show how well you did. All right. Now let me ask you, do dogs fly? No. No. <laughs> and how about this, do submarines usually fly? No. Mm -hmm. How about a Zeppelin? Can a Zeppelin fly? Yes. All right. Okay. I couldn't make the question complicated enough in terms of the uh, fanciness of the vocabulary to throw him off. Uh, he immediately understood. And yet, when I produced a sentence that most of us would have thought was about as easy an English phrase as you could uh, create, uh, he failed totally. Do you know what a leopard is? Yeah. you know what a lion is? Yes. Right. So the leopard was killed by the lion. Which animal died? I don't know. Uh... That's hard, is it? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh, what animal died? I don't know. You don't know what animal died? Right. Obviously, that's got to be an error in, in understanding the grammar. Now, what, there's a very easy way to understand it. Because if you think of those sentences with the grammatical words removed and try to figure out their meaning, you would have the same problem. Landry hears all the sounds of the grammatical words, but in his brain, the sentence is processed something like this. He understands only nouns and verbs. This pattern of having this special kind of understanding difficulty, uh, which is confined almost exclusively to these little words, to the grammatical words and to the endings, uh, is something that we find very frequently in the, uh, in the patient who's got damage to Broca's area. So the thing that's so perplexing in Mr. Landry is that he doesn't have this difficulty in spontaneous speech, he doesn't have this difficulty in repetition, but when we come to the comprehension tests, he has this difficulty in the most dramatic fashion. And if I said to you again, right, that's my uncle's sister, would that be a man or a woman? I don't know.